Mama, hey mama, hey Billy mama, that is your Dano milk. Yes, your Dano milk. I started fighting for my life and my ambitions. I knew that where I was wasn't where I was meant to be. There's this driving me. So going up, I found my strength, the drive, the courage to push through. Many things happened. I don't want to go into details. I'm sorry. Guys, tonight was full of many emotions and many waterworks. When I say waterworks, I mean tears. A lot of people shed tears tonight and I am part of them. I am one of the people that cried. Yes. I went for the director of socials, SU, the first female ever since 1963 of my school. I broke the record being the first female to hold that position. That was persistent. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Please do well to hit on the subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to be summarizing everything that happened during the Dano Milk task. However, I've posted the full video of everything that happened on my Instagram page. I'm going to leave it here on the screen because a lot happened. People shared their deepest stories, like stories that they've not shared anywhere before. So you do not want to miss it, okay? You must say that there's someone missing here because it's supposed to be dad mom and six of us you know growing up without a dad i would say like was the most difficult thing i have never said this to anyone not even my students but in this video i'm just going to tell you how everything played out first of all big brother had given them a booklet to read and get um, familiar with dano milk products of course they were shared into teams as usual so in their different teams they had to compose a song and they also had to do something like a quiz answering questions so the first session was them answering questions. Most of them got like nine. They were supposed to get 10 out of 15, but no one was able to get 10. Most of them get like nine. Some of them got five, six, you know, moving on. After that, we had their song presentation, which was quite funny and interesting, I won't lie. The first thing that I went to present was Bella's team. Guys, I don't know if those movies they sing because it was just scattered all over the place. Eloswa was drumming, drumming. I don't know where in the drum they go. But yeah, they did that. After that team, the next came, which was Brian, Adekule, Groovy, and Dotto. See, this people's team, they killed it for me. I absolutely loved it. Like, even the house music, I you know, say, ah, as this would all sing, so I then go win them. You know, now, anyway, any team with Brian, they are singing, they involved. You know, say, Brian will definitely win them. Anyways, they've not announced winner yet, so all this also just the sharp mouth. The next thing that came to present was Fina's team. It was really, really funny. Fina had to start hyping at some point. Yo, yo, yeah, come on, come on. That don't mean, yo, yo. I say, mama, calm down, calm down. Don't worry, this one not follow, not to follow. Then, of course, Doin's team, Doin, Rachel, Allison, and Chomzy. Four guests, I, I was calling them the Charlie Angel. Anyways, they came out and they sang, and Rachel started laughing in the middle of the singing. Like, I was like, why is this girl laughing? But I know why. They were seriously singing off key. Their song had prospect, but you see that laughter, it just cut her up. Anyways, after that round, it was now time for them to come and share their stories. Apparently, one of the tasks is for them to tell a personal story about themselves. They were giving cardboards and markers. So they gave them words, like keywords that they will use to tell their story. So the team is just go for it, just like Dano Milk's slogan. Anyways, so they had that time and everyone started telling their stories. Being here, I just want to, I just want to speak from my mind. You know, growing up without a dad, I would say, like, was the most difficult thing. I have never said this to anyone, not even my students. So Hermes, he spoke about his mom. We know that his mom has dementia. He spoke about that story. Alison talked about her struggle as a model and as an actor. Then Chomzy talked about how she didn't have friends because she had pneumonia and she was a sickly child. And um, at that point, people started crying, like Bella, Doin, Chichi. When, you know, Chomzy told her story, a lot of people were already crying. Then Bella came next to tell her story. Bella just talked about growing up without a dad and she was so emotional when she was talking about this. The next person that came out to talk was Brian. Brian spoke about his journey as an artist. His mom actually followed him to a particular artist's gate where he was knocking and begging 
for the artist to see him and just at least speak with him. And it's a person that don't just be that guy, but remove. But the people didn't still answer them, so they had to leave. And then at some point, his mom told him that, see, this is your career, you have to stop it. And he said he got depressed because his mom always supported him. For his mom to tell him to stop music, then it was serious. Then another person that came to speak was Daniela. She talked about her journey and her career from athlete to a writer and a spoken word artist. Then Cheesy talked about how he squandered his, his family money that they gave to him as a 19-year-old boy, refused to finish school, dropped out of school, and how his family, all of them, most of them have a master's degree except him that didn't go to school so Dotson was the next person that spoke he talked about when he had like a pressure cooker explosion on his face and it was really terrible for him Shags talked about you know even if he had a lot of things being from a wealthy family he's still struggling with proving himself to people because he wanted to be a footballer and now his knee is hurting and he's dealing with him you know at this point Shags also was crying when he was telling his story he was in tears and to be honest, I felt it as well. Moving on, Groovy spoke about how his dad left his mom and he had to, you know, grow up as a first son to look after his family, his siblings, you know, and how because of his looks, he really couldn't be a businessman as much because people were commenting on how he's too fresh to be in the, in the market. He should leave the market, but he had to stay resilient and he kept growing. Fina, Fina talked about how she grew up, you know, without her parents. She grew up with her auntie. And after seeing her through secondary school, they told her to go and find her way. And she trained herself through school and started putting herself into, you know, male-dominated industries like the hype man that she is or high priestess that she is now is a male-dominating industry. But then she's seen it through how she got robbed several times doing this job. She also talked about how a lot of people have called her names. Oh, she's loud, she's a child, she's this. But that's because growing up, she actually didn't have anybody to literally show her the way to go. That, okay, this is how to grow up. As a boy, you come to the family, just go by yourself, you know? Another person that spoke was Adekune. This was really, really personal. I'm just so, you know, happy for him that he could share, share this because he said this is like the first time he's talking about it. Apparently, his dad had left his mom and this is because his dad was a drug addict and he didn't take alcohol or smoke or do any of those things because he didn't want to be like his dad and he said for the very first time in his life that he took alcohol it was during the coronavirus lockdown because he felt like the world was coming to an end and he just needed to taste that life moving on it was now rachel's turn rachel came and talked about how she grew up from having everything to the point where she had nothing went to schools where they had everything like private school to a school where they had to go to a free school where they were not paying school fees and got to a point where a teacher told her that she should marry the proprietor's imbecile son to pay her school fees because she couldn't even afford it you know emotional stories everywhere and to be honest i could relate to some of the stories and many of the stories were emotional Chichi also talked about how being a child and growing up, she was alone, nobody to protect her, and a lot of things happened to her. And she has been a fighter all her life because she was bullied. You know, a lot of people took advantage of her. You know, and she kept crying throughout this process. She couldn't even really, really speak. But yeah, guys, that's about it. A lot of people, Eloswa just talked about how, oh, he grew up from being a student to blowing on YouTube to squandering the money. To being a dj and being an artist you know just all of them so if you want to watch this full video of how everything went down please go to my instagram to watch that so i believe that i did a good job summarizing this i thought this was going to take a lot but hmm, quite short thank you guys so much for watching let me know which person's story touched you the most and also let me know what you think about this whole presentation who do you think is gonna win and i'm gonna end this video here until next time i'm gonna see you on the next one. Bye-bye.